All right, many people have come up and approached us about what it kind of takes to be a CrossFit coach or a CrossFit trainer. Um, it's kind of funny we use the word coach and trainer kind of interchangeable. In the world of CrossFit, unless you're a level three or level four, you're actually not technically a CrossFit coach, so something to think about. But we get approached about it often, just because uh, we've had this affiliate for a little while now, right? It's been more than five years um, here at CrossFit Soar, and we've had a lot of different coaches come through. We ha currently have right now four people that passed our L1 recently. We have two people interning with a third one starting really soon. So what does it take to be a good CrossFit coach? Now, I'm gonna kinda look at this a little differently, because most people will say, you know, studying movement and things that are all very mechanical and technical. And I'm gonna talk about the other side of coaching. So. You can always learn how to squat better. You can always learn how to do like a muscle up. Those skills are out there. As long as you're willing to research and kind of educate yourself, you're able to learn those things. Now, the top three things, not necessarily the top three things, but the three things that come to mind the most is number one is self-awareness. And this is kind of a lost art. Most of us walk around with our heads buried in our phones. At no point in time are we ever quiet. And we try to keep our mind as busy as possible so we don't have self-awareness. So self-awareness is really developing you as a person. Be a better person. The better person you are, the better you become in interaction with the people, the better coach you become. All right, number two, uh, the next thing is I want people that might be sympathetic towards members, but I don't want you to be empathetic. So empathy is where you can actually feel what other people are feeling. The problem is if I have a class of 12 to 15 people and I'm empathetic towards one person, I take myself out of my shoes, into their shoes, and not the whole classroom. All right, so I understand it's really easy to feel bad for people. They might be talking about their life for you. It's okay to be sympathetic, but don't be empathetic. You can't be a leader, a good leader, and be empathetic at the same time. It's very hard because you ignore everyone else in class. Uh, number three, I talked about a little bit, being a good leader. So you wanna develop leadership skills. There's hundreds of books out there on how to be a leader, how to be a better leader, because when you run a CrossFit class and you are a CrossFit coach or trainer, you are in charge, you're a leader, everyone's looking to you. And that's whether or not you're coaching or not coaching, if you're just working on the class, you wanna portray those leadership skills. And good leaders are good followers. So if you're a good leader when you're in class, you're listening to the trainer in the class, you're not doing your own thing. So to kind of go back through those, self-awareness, right? Learn about who you are, calm your mind down, don't get so busy with social media and stuff and ignore things going on, become self-aware. Number two, uh, excuse me, number two, be sympathetic, not empathetic, right? Care about people, but don't care about one person over everyone else. Uh, I have my wife in class every once in a while. I cannot just worry about her. I have to make sure I think about the class as a whole. And number three, develop leadership skills because the best leaders are also the best followers. Go out there, read books. Being a CrossFit coach is not just about, hey, I can snatch, I can muscle up. It's about who you are as a person. The better person you are, the better coach you'll be. So hope that helps with you guys. Let me know what books work for you. Talk to you soon.